Hey, it's Tim here. In Tableau 21.4, there's a feature that I wanted to demo which shows row level security. Now, in order to demo that, I needed to do two things, set up a virtual connection to a database and then show off the row level permissions. But in order to do that, I needed to load the data into Snowflake. Now, Tableau actually created some sample data for this demo. So you can see it here. I've actually got it in my Dropbox folder. You can see where it's coming from here. But essentially, it's a SQL statement that creates a table, then loads the data, then creates another table, then loads that data. And you can see there's a lot of data here. It's all been sort of uh, bunged into the SQL statement. And I I think it creates three or four data sets. If I just keep going down here, we'll pretty much see another one. We just saw another one there, just sort of flash by. If we go back up, we also have here the orders table, then we have all the orders and so on and so forth. So essentially what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to load sample data into Snowflake. Uh, I'm gonna to need to do everything from scratch. And so that's what I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's get stuck in. So here we are, we're in Snowflake. Now I'm just using the uh, sort of online uh, interface here. I'm not using any sort of database stores. If you use one of those, that's totally fine. Everything is pretty much gonna work the same. I'm just doing this to keep things nice and simple. So what I first need to do is to create a demo database. I don't actually have one set up. I've got mostly uh, utility databases here, some sample uh, databases, and also my uh, database for uh, my YouTube channel. So that's called TNMD Fivetran because Fivetran pumps some data into that. So first we'll need to go to the databases section and create a database. And we can call this uh, Tableau uh, Demo database. Now, for those of you who are watching this and know how to create a database here, you'll know there's going to be an issue here when I click finish, and that is it doesn't like the spaces between the names. So we'll go ahead and do an underscore uh, just to make sure that that meets the condition that's required. We can call this, uh, uh, like just put a comment here, so a demo DB, that's going to be all I need. Go ahead and hit create and boom, we've got it there. Now, what we would typically do now is set up privileges for a particular role or whatever, but I'm the only one on this database, so I have access to everything. So if you don't have access to everything, you need to pay attention to this. Make sure you set up the relevant privileges so that you can then switch into the role that you're gonna be using for analytics, or maybe your users are gonna be using and make sure they can do this themselves. But other than that, you can just pretty much go ahead and get stuck in. Now, once I've done this, I'm actually going to do the rest using the worksheets capability. So I'll go over to the worksheets capability. And if I click on this little uh, refresh button, let me just click on this arrow here. You'll see that it will refresh the window and I'll actually see my new table that I've created there. There it is, Tableau Demo Database. And if we open this up and go into public, you can see we have no tables or views in this schema. So we need to create some views. So let's go ahead and go to the very top of the SQL statement. Let me just go right to the top. This is going to take me a little while. Let's just go all the way up here and you've got uh, the first sort of SQL statement we can run. Now I'm just going to copy this section of it, uh, copy it from uh, where am I in VS Code, go to this particular page and paste it in and now we have that SQL. So what the SQL is going to do is essentially just create the framework where we're going to load the data into. So it just creates a table, but it doesn't load any real data into it. So uh, what I can do is I can just run this whole entire SQL statement, but I've gotten into the habit of highlighting what I want to run and then selecting run. Okay. And so if I go to do this, you'll hit run and it will complain. Essentially, it's complaining because I haven't actually specified these parameters over here on the top right hand side. So let's go ahead and select the relevant database. Let's go ahead here and select Tableau De Demo Database. It's now public. Everything is pretty much good to go. And now if I go and do the same thing and I hit run, you'll see that this actually works and it completes successfully. It took uh, 165 milliseconds, essentially. And I'm using the small uh, warehouse here. I'm not using anything sort of powerful. This is just sort of a standard capability. I can double check that that table now exists by again hitting the little uh, view over here, refresh it now, and you can see my employees table does exist. Uh, it has zero rows. I can see that just there on the Snowflake interface. So now we're pretty much good to go and we're ready to load some real data. Let's go back to VS Code and we can go to this little sort of area. Now they've put some um, sort of stuff in here. So it says lock tables, employees, right? We don't actually need that for this particular use case or for this particular setup that I'm running. Um, all I need is this. SQL here that actually does the job of inserting the data. So let's let's go ahead and slowly scroll down before we get to the next data set here on line 35. I'm going to copy that. And when I bring it back in here, I'm just going to
kind of copy it just a little bit below. Let's just go a few lines and paste it in here and you can see insert into employees. And it's this really wide data set here. Um, basically every single bit of information has just been pasted into that little um, area. It's like an array in, in, in web development or something like that. But we're pretty much good to go. Now, of course, I need to highlight this. And now that I've highlighted it, I need to run. It's kept all my variables from before. So if I needed to change this for whatever reason, maybe some people have the ability to create data and then some people have the ability to uh, put data in and then some people have the ability to read data. If you needed to change those, you'd need to sort of go up here and change those permissions. But nonetheless, we're going to just select this line here, line 25 and hit run. And you'll get the SQL sort of display to you. Ask you again, are you sure you want to do this? You can actually copy the SQL in case you're not sure. Hit run and that will complete 427 milliseconds. So that works pretty, really well. And what we can do, we can again go up here to refresh. Then uh, we should check this table and we should see some rows. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's hit refresh. Uh, this will refresh, uh, we'll hit the employees and there we have uh, nine rows. If you want to see a preview of this data, there's a couple ways to do this. There's this button right here where you can hit. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's hit preview data and you'll see our preview loads here at the bottom. So that's pretty much the data that we just loaded. And then if you want to do another way, if you actually go to right here and right click, you can also select the preview data option there and you're pretty much good to go. So that's how I'm going to load the sample data for this specific demo in Tableau. I just wanted to show sort of the behind the scenes uh, setup for that. And hopefully you find it useful for learning how to load sample data that maybe you've got as a SQL statement uh, into your own sample database. So you can do some tests and test out new features. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.